What's up guys, welcome back to the Educated Barfly. Today we're gonna to be making an awesome daiquiri variation called a Hotel National Special. This is one of those amazing 1930s Cuban daiquiri variations. Uh, and for my money, it's probably one of the best ones. So this cocktail is usually attributed to the hotel's bar manager, Will P. Taylor, um, who invented this sometime around 1931. But I will say, and, and that's according to uh, The Gentleman's Companion, which was written by Charles H. Baker. Uh, the thing is, is that the other two names, the other two bartenders that have been bartending around uh, the Hotel National at that time were also Eddie Wolk and uh, Fred Kaufman. And those guys' names have been definitely mentioned in the same breath with this cocktail as well. And, it, and I think probably it's most, most probable that all three of those bartenders had something to do with this drink's evolution. Well, this is a fantastic drink, uh, and it is probably one of the drinks one of the that makes it's one of the drinks that makes better use of apricot liqueur. Okay, uh, and then another little note on the rums that I'm using before we get started. So I'm using this Havana Club three year. We were lucky enough to get it while we were in Rome this year. We traveled out and got some. Um, but if you can't get it, uh, I was also wanted to feature this Kanye Brava, which is made by the 86 company. So Kanye Brava is sort of, it's a Panamanian rum that's sort of made in the Cuban style. Um, and I think somebody got in touch with me recently and said that they're going to be discontinuing this. I did tried to do a little research on that and I could not find anything on it. So bear in mind that this might be able to, uh, that this might be being discontinued soon, which means that you should just go and buy it all up. Uh, before it's completely discontinued. So if you can't get your hands on Havana Club, you can absolutely get your hands on Kanye Brava at least for the foreseeable future. Uh, and, and if and when a time comes that you can't, you can sub it out for another white rum uh, and try and just, you know, kind of like, the thing is, is that I like to make these drinks as, um, I don't know, kind of traditionally as possible if it makes sense to do that. And so, I would just say sub it out for some other white rum that is going to sort of equate those flavors of uh, a Cuban rum. All right, let's get into making the drink. So the first thing we're gonna do is half an ounce of lime juice, half an ounce of apricot liqueur. We are using Rothman in winter, although I gotta say Luxardo makes a really great apricot liqueur as well. But I do like me some Rothman in winter. So it's half an ounce. One ounce of pineapple juice, fresh juiced. But if you don't want to go through the trouble just between you and me, if you go to Trader Joe's, they actually have this little canned pineapple that's really pretty good. So one ounce of pineapple juice, and then two ounces of white rum. Then I'm just gonna add our ice into our tin. Give it a little shake like a ding dong. You want to use a glass with a little bit larger volume. I think this is six ounces because uh, it's a four ounce cocktail before dilution. You want to make sure that it fits. See, and that's perfect. Well, probably could have had a bigger wash line, but you know what? This ain't going to service, it's going down my gullet. All right, there we have it. Put this aside, put this aside, let's give it an old taste. This doesn't get any garnish or anything. Just get that nice froth on the pineapple. You know, pineapple just aerates so well and it's just so creamy when you shake it properly. Oh yes. You know, you get that hint of apricot right in the finish. The main flavors are the rum and the pineapple mixed together. You get a nice acid from the lime, but it's nice half an ounce. You just get a little bit of acid and you just get a tiny bit of the apricot on the finish. It is so Pleasant. Mmm, crushable. This right here is a beach cocktail, my friends. There you have it, the Hotel National Special. So, last thing before I go, 
Just want to say, if you are interested in checking out our Patreon, just go to patreon.com slash theeducatedbarfly. We've had a lot of recent subscribers. We've got some good content coming out on that. Um, definitely check it out. And then also check us out on Instagram at educatedbarfly. Until next time, have a Hotel National special and be happy.